triggers play a very important role in game development, since a lot of features are trigger-based. In this example, the orange block contains a box collider 2D. By checking the Is Trigger checkbox, the collision with this object is disabled and the trigger options are enabled. Any object that contains a rigid body will now trigger a function when entering, staying or exiting this area. Those three events are called on trigger enter, on trigger stay and on trigger exit. Enter and exit events are called only once, whereas stay is called almost every frame. It is only almost because it is physics based and acts therefore like a fixed update function. So feel free to make some physics based rigid body actions in there. Inside those trigger events you can receive the collider object, from where you can get the game object or just compare the tag to trigger some function. The script containing these functions need to be attached to one of those two collider objects. In our case this could either be the player or the orange box, but I attached it to the player. As an example, assume the player acts different on entering different triggers. If the collider the player triggered is an enemy, the player will die. But if this collider was a heart, the player's health will increase. On the other hand, you can have the script on the object which contains the trigger collider. For example, a magic flower. When a player gets in contact with the flower, it can heal the player. But if it's an enemy, the enemy will get damage. Or you don't care what entered your trigger and act the same every time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more easily said. And I'll see you next time.